Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. Hey, how's it going everyone? So, we're happy to be here today. We're back with another reaction. Today we're going to be checking out Jeff Castellucci and No Sunshine. So, without further ado, let's go check it out. When I hear Ain't No Sunshine, I always think about DMX. Rest his soul. Oh. I, I kind of, I know the song because of him, really. All right, Jeff, let's go. As usual, many copies of him. I always like that. Bold voice. It's not uh -huh. warm when she's away. Sounds different with such a low voice. There ain't no sunshine when she's gone, and this house just ain't no home anytime she goes away. Wow, sounds amazing. It's crazy. I know, 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 yeah. Yeah. I wonder this time where she's gone. That's all the voices, man. is good oh my god wow cool how many so cool so casual Wow, I love that voice. You know, he does normal singing as well. That's like so amazing. I wonder if the bass in the back is his voice, like sampled or something. So smooth, man. I was wondering if there's going to be like a bass drop at the end. It was so amazing. The way he drops like his voice, like the, the, the bass, low voice in so casually, it's just amazing. You know, sometimes he finishes like part of the song with like the, you know, out of nowhere, this like low voice comes on. It's like, ooh. It, to me, sounds like someone turning off like a motorbike. You know, when like the engine stops and... <laughs> wow. Oh, so amazing. I didn't even realize how much I like this song. I always, in my mind, is always DMX. I always listen to like DMX's Ain't No Sunshine. So I always have it in my, my head. I don't even remember if I heard the original song, to be honest. But this was awesome. So smooth. So smooth in listening. I, I loved it. His voice is amazing. The, all the stuff we've been exploring so far of his, it's been amazing adaptations or covers of many different well-known songs. And what I find really good, he doesn't 
put himself just in that low bass singer only. I, I felt like just chilling out, like having like a little glass maybe of wine or like a chilled drink and listening to the song. It just flew like, you know, the flow was so good. <laughs> One thing with Jeff is that I always like when he duplicates himself, like <laughs> you'd actually feel like there are four, five, six of them in the same room. The way he does that so well. And it feels like each of those duplicates, like take each, each part, like musical parts, alto, soprano, tenor, and the whole thing just becomes mm. really full. And the way he makes it and the song, you'd actually feel it's not just one person singing because of you know all the parts in the song. How he does it is just magical. When I listen, listen to that, <laughs> that bass especially, it's just amazing. It just sinks down all the time. It sinks all, and, and the way where he decides to, you know, to fix that voice particularly, it makes it really nice. Like this song, he didn't really use a lot of, you know, so much bass in it, and it was surprising. And it's just surprising as well how he switches from the bass to the, you know, regular, his regular mm. voice. Wow, it's, it's, <laughs> it's amazing. Also, his choices of songs that he covers, are really nice songs. They're mm. like, not quite complicated, but they're kind of, they, they go in a particular pattern that I really like. And he does them perfectly, really, really perfect. Uh, he does everything in the production and it's just one man's kind of um, yeah. production, which, you know, he's done a lot. In that sense, reminds me of like Tom McDonald when he does, you know, his own music. Um, actually, I don't know if he's got someone mixing the songs for him and mastering, but like he does everything himself, writes the song, records everything and so on. I think Jeff is kind of the same from what I understand, does everything on his own. And what I like also in his songs is that he's in voice play and does a cappella there. And then his own projects, like he uses instruments quite a lot. And in this particular song, I really don't know, I would like to know if it was a real bass playing in the back or like he used his voice to kind of mimic an instrument and maybe sampled it because it sounded like a little bit like his voice, but also sounded like a bass guitar or something like that. So it was really good, really good. <laughs> wow, so much enjoyed the song so well. In fact, all the songs I've heard so far from Jeff, they're just perfect, mm. <laughs> so good. Well guys, thank you so much for hanging with us, checking out this video. Please do remember to subscribe to our channel if you're not subscribed yet. And uh, we'll see you all in the next video from us here. It's gonna be bye. See you next time.